Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots House and Western Life Enthusiast. I'm here at uh, Fenolio Boot Company uh, with Trey. Yes, sir. Uh, master boot maker. Now, uh, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been making boots uh, overall for going on 20 years. I've uh, been with Fenolio Boot Company. I believe it's seven or eight years that they have uh, been in the boot business themselves. All right. Now, there's a lot of boot making history in Dakota. And you guys seem to cherish that a lot in your own company. Is that oh yes, sir. So uh, a lot of people credit H.J. Uh, Justin and this area in North Texas uh, for the development if, or creation, if you would, of the modern cowboy boot. H.J. Uh, started in the late 1800s selling boots to cowboys on their way up the Chisholm Trail, and when the Railroad came to Nakona, he moved his facility to the town of Nakona, uh, and we've been making boots in this town ever since. That is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of history down here in Nakona, Texas. Now, you guys are a 100% American-made boot company. Yes, sir. You guys pride yourself off that, and you should. That's, yes. that's a great thing, because not too many of not too many of y'all out there nowadays. Yeah, there's not a lot of manufacturing left in the United States. Uh, period and yeah. so certainly in the footwear industry and uh, cowboy boot industry there's not a whole lot of people left uh, we take a lot of pride in it uh, obviously also being from Texas we take a lot of pride in that Absolutely. not just the United States but uh, Texas made boot company uh, just a whole lot of pride in it I myself am a third generation boot maker my grandfather uh, was the plant superintendent uh, of production uh, my father after him was and now I am so and I'm not the only one here uh, with that kind of family history in it, uh, a, a lot of the people that work here are second, third, and fourth generation boot makers. That is great. And you guys have a very traditional way of making cowboy boots. You guys don't do much of the uh, modern techniques, but you guys really implement a lot of the uh, old fashioned techniques. Yes, sir. There's, uh, uh, I guess, you know, with technology changing and stuff, there are improvements to be made. Obviously, we have things at our disposal that they didn't have in the 1800s. Uh, but a lot of our stuff is still handcrafted just like it was uh, back then. And we take a lot of pride in that, a whole lot. Yep, like you guys actually take whatever you guys need to take from the modern era, uh, leaving any of the defects from the Civil War era. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that like makes said. sense. Well, uh, I went through some of your process of making cowboy boots, and I've seen it's really great. And you got some uh, very good folks uh, uh, here making your, your boots and you guys actually have a very different uh, toe shapes that you guys use from other boot companies and you guys actually experiment with some uh, different grain of exotic skins. Yes sir, yes sir. We, uh, so we're very proud of uh, the different toes we've developed. Uh, we, all of them are developed here uh, by us, by myself, James and Caden. Uh, the, the, the newest one is a one toe, it's a very narrow square toe, not a snip toe, but a pretty narrow snare toe, and uh, it's real punchy, pretty yeah. traditional looking, uh, I'm a big fan of it myself, and uh, we also pride ourselves on the comfort of our boots, okay. uh, which I think is outstanding, and obviously we stand behind our quality and our durability, uh, you know, if something does go wrong with your boot, unfortunately, you know, chance may have it, uh, please send it back to us because that's another thing that will set us apart from other boot companies. You can call, talk to one of us, and, and customer service is a big priority, a huge priority for us. We want these boots to be great, and we want our great customers to be very proud of them, and if they do experience a problem, we want to be able to solve that you know, as, as quickly as possible. And that's one major thing that will keep a customer coming back, not only making great boots, which is the most important thing, but also keeping that good customer service, showing the customer, hey, you know, we actually care about you and we actually care about the products that we make enough to actually, you know, make oh, sure yes. you're satisfied. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. I mean, we're, we're a smaller company, uh, so the only way we're going to compete with some of the bigger people are offering things that, that they don't. So, right. You know, you can, you can uh, design your boot from start to finish, top to bottom, left to right. I mean, yes, you know, we can put your brand on it. We can you can combine different heels with different toes, uh, all sorts of things like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to ask you about. So if somebody has a company logo that they, you know, let's say they're proud of their company, for instance, American Hat Company, we're just visiting them, you yes, know, they want to put positive times oh, right yes, here on the 
on, on the shaft. That's what this way. We can we can uh, make a stitch file and embroider that or stitch that onto the boot, or we can also do a filigree and inlay uh, of your uh, logo or your brand. A, a lot of people want their brand or their initials on the boots. That all can be done. That is awesome. And let's say somebody wants, you know, has a specific purpose. Sometimes the rodeo uh, athletes or um, you know, different uh, workers, or they just want something extremely custom to them, uh, as far as like fitting and everything. Do you do you all offer that? We, like I said, we're not a complete custom boot company. We don't build a last for each individual foot that we that we make. Uh, but if there are some adjustments that need to be made to that last to help that person out, generally speaking, we can accommodate that. And with that said, being an off-the-shelf fit, uh, the majority of the time we do go from a size five all the way up to a size 17, and we offer widths from A to triple E. So, so that's not we a, got most people covered. Yeah, and that's not something that a lot of companies do. As a matter of fact, that's something that hardly any company does. And also, you were mentioning something to me that was quite interesting about a very uh, unique size. Yeah, uh, th throughout the years, and you know, we've acquired last from, from like my father and my grandfather and stuff like that. Uh, I believe we have one I'd have to dig it out in my office. It was a 16-8A, and that's about the longest, skinniest foot I've ever heard of. So, right, yeah, I yeah. bet. I wouldn't be able to put my foot in there even if I tried. No, 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 probably not. And, uh, you know, we may never have a customer come around that needs it, but we got it just in case. Just in case that that, that, that child is born. Yes, there you go. Yes, sir. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. So, guys, if you guys want to check out Fenolio Boots, you guys can check out Fenolio Boots on uh, fenolioboots.com. And uh, they're right here in the Kona, Texas, and I'm uh, hoping we're going to be doing a um, full review with them soon. All right. I appreciate your time, and everybody just remember, there's nothing finer than Fenolio. Yes, sir.